Welcome to Student Edsby Boot Camp. This is Roger Bright. Today we're going to talk about a few subjects that you need to know to be able to set up your e-learning. First thing you need to do is set up your distance learning folder and subfolders. You can do this on a thumb drive, on the hard drive of the computer you're using, or elsewhere. Talk to your parents to find out where they want you to store your files. Open File Explorer to set this up. Left click on the File Explorer icon to begin. Once File Explorer opens, locate the drive which you want to store your files. I'll store mine on my portable hard drive named Backup Plus. Hint, external hard drives, thumb drives, will have a letter designation after them. Here you see my external hard drive is being read as F. Right click on the drive you want to store your files on. A drop down menu like the one to the left will appear. Left click the menu item labeled New. This may give you several options. It may just give you one like you see on the left. Left click on the option labeled Folder. Name the folder Distance Learning. Now, if you have siblings who will be using the same computer or the same drive, then add your first name to the end of the folder name. For example, since my first name is Roger, my name would be Distance Learning Roger. After you have named the folder, hit Enter. Then double left click it to open it to create your class subfolders. Here you will repeat the process you went through to create your Distance Learning folder to create a subfolder for each of your classes. When creating the subfolders, it will be helpful if you label your subfolders in accordance with your class schedule. That means that the first part of the subfolder name will be the period number you have that class, starting with a zero, and then the number, and then the name of the class. Above you see a student who has pre-algebra first period, language arts second period, and civics third. So they wrote it as 01 pre-algebra, 02 language arts, and 03 civics. Label yours similarly. Now that you've created your distance learning folder, it's time to learn how to download files to it. You can expect me to upload PowerPoints and other files on a daily basis. You may not be able to open these directly from Edsby. Instead, you must download them to your distance learning folder and then open them from there. To do so, first locate the file on Edsby. Hover your cursor over the file until the word download appears over the icon. Then left click on the word download. A file explorer window will open. Scroll through the menu until you locate your distance learning folder and then your civic subfolder or whatever subfolder you need for whatever class you're downloading the file for. Once you locate your civic subfolder, Double left click on the folder to open it, and then left click Save to save the PowerPoint file to your distance learning folder. To open the file you just saved, double left click on it, and it should open PowerPoint for you. To open any PowerPoint or Word file, you must have PowerPoint or Word installed on the computer you're using. If you don't have both of these programs installed, please contact me and I will give you a link where you can download them for free. After the file opens, you'll want to view the PowerPoint in slideshow mode. Left click on the words slideshow in the upper menu. Once the slideshow menu is open, left click on from beginning to start the slideshow. Use the left and right arrow keys to navigate through the slideshow. Press Escape to exit the slideshow. In addition to downloading files, you'll be downloading and submitting assignments online. Sometimes these assignments might be embedded or have embedded PDFs, and those are a little bit harder to find. We're going to go over all of that now. We can see this new assignment is to be submitted by the student online because it has a blue submit button under it. 
When I hover my cursor over the assignment name, test doc, I can see that it's actually a hyperlink, which, when I left click on it, a new window will open. In the new window, I will see the document I need to download, if there are any documents embedded in the assignment. Here we see one that's a Word doc entitled Test Doc. You can also find the assignment under the content section of the class Edsby page. If you left click on the assignment name, it will also open up the same assignment window we just saw. To download any file embedded in the assignment, just hover your cursor over the file and then left click on the word download. Don't double click. Most files will not work properly unless they are downloaded to your distance learning folder. It seems the sole exception to this are PDFs. If you do double click, you can still download from the screen that opens by left clicking download in the upper right hand corner. When you save the file, you may want to save it using your name, last name first, first name last, and the title of the document. This will make things easier when it's time for you to submit it to your teacher. Don't forget to save it to the Civic subfolder of your distance learning folder or whatever the appropriate class subfolder is that you are using. After you finish the assignment, left click the word file and then left click save. If you are using a program other than MS Word, such as Mac Pages, please be sure to save your work in either a .doc format or a .pdf. To do this, just go to Save As and make the adjustment from there. To submit the file for grading, you need to left click on the file icon that can be found directly below the document itself. This will open a file explorer window. Locate the file you want to submit and double left click on it, or highlight it with a single left click and press open. The file itself will appear in the homework window. To submit the assignment for grading, left click the blue submit button. That's it. Your file has been submitted to your teacher for grading. To be sure it worked, you can go back to the class page and see the blue submit button has changed to resubmit. This is a good indicator that it worked. That's all for now. In a couple of days, I'll post another video that will show you how to check feedback from your teachers, grades, and a couple other things. In the meantime, stay caring, capable, contributing, and what's most difficult these days, connected. Take care.